David Beckham channeled his father's advice as he stepped up to take the European Cup winning corner in 1999, he revealed in Netflix's new documentary about the Manchester United and England legend. The Red Devils dramatically scored twice in injury time against Bayern Munich to win the European Cup final 2-1 at the Now Camp, becoming the first English side in history to claim the treble. Both Teddy Sheringham's equaliser and old Gunnar Solskjaer's famous, last gasp winner came from Beckham's late corners, and the former United midfielder has opened up on his memory of the final. When the creators of the Beckham documentary, which was unveiled on Netflix on Wednesday, October 4, asked him what he was thinking as he stepped up to take the crucial corners, he replied, I just thought do what I did when I was a kid when my dad used to make me do corner after corner after corner and put it in the exact spot he wanted it. If I didn't he'd kill me. He told me that moments like corners at the end of a match that can create history. With United 1-0 behind in the first minute of added time, Beckham kept his composure and fired a dangerous cross into the penalty area, drawing several defenders and allowing his teammates to find Sheringham open in the six-yard box for a tap-in. Two minutes later from the same corner, Beckham delivered another pinpoint cross towards Sheringham, whose glancing header found Solskjaer at the back post for the famous winner. Manchester United were second best throughout the first half as Bayern Munich took an early lead in the sixth minute through Mario Basler. Beckham, who had experienced an extremely challenging season in the wake of England's 1998 World Cup exit, helped the Red Devils find a foothold in the game with his range of passing in the middle of the park. Gary Neville claims Beckham became a leader for the first time during the triumphant European Cup final, with Beckham going on to captain both Manchester United and England. I think that game was the point where he became a leader, he said during the documentary. And I thought, sure, you're inspiring me.